Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we're doing a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, it's all about you, it's all about the Scorpios today. Now before we get started, make sure make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. Now without further ado, let's get started. Also, also, my bad. Also make sure that you follow the Tarot channel in the description box. It's going to be on, it's uh, um, just put in The Universe Tarot and on Instagram and it'll pop up, you know? You know, and if you don't know how like how it's spelled, there's no underscores, it's just one big word. It's in the description box, so take a look if you want to. Okay? Now we can get started. Mm -hmm. Now, Scorpio, we're gonna draw five cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, our first card says the six of swords. Okay, now I'm seeing Scorpio that you need to let go and move on from a situation. You need to let go and move on. So maybe maybe it's stressing you out. Maybe it's giving you a lot of headaches. Maybe it's making giving you a lot of anxiety and depression. And you know, it's a lot to think about. It's too much to handle for you. So Scorpio, I need to see that you need to let go of the situation and just let it play out for itself. Okay, because you can't give yourself a headache about it. The five of wands. Okay. See, and you can't handle constant conflict either. It's just a lot for you to deal with. The constant conflict, the constant arguments, right? The constant everything. You can't manage it for too long. You understand? You just want to relax. You just want to be at peace. You understand? You just want to be at peace and be free from all the distractions and the situations that's coming with it. Okay? The two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay? So there, I'm seeing that there was some betrayal here. Did somebody lie to you? Someone was dishonest. They weren't giving you the full truth. They weren't keeping it 100% real, right? They weren't being truthful, okay? They weren't being truthful. I don't know why I got a brain fart just now. They weren't being truthful, and they weren't doing the best to hide their lies because they got caught in the lie, Okay. The lovers in the reverse, okay? Someone left, which was you. You left, okay, because you couldn't handle it no more, right? So adding it all up together, I'm seeing there was a situation that you, that was doing, taking a mental toll on you because there was a lot of lying, betrayal, and then that person finally got caught, and then there was a lot of constant conflict, okay? You know, and it never ended, okay? So you left, you got fed up, and you left. You got, you walked away from the situation like a mature person does, right? And you walked away and you because you just really needed to disconnect because if you know if you didn't walk away from that situation you're gonna strangle somebody okay the ten of cups in the reverse okay all right they moved on and so did you okay you know you couldn't and it's good and it's good that they moved on from it and you did too because right now you not even you don't even care about what happens to them right now okay it's just you all right it's just you you just want to focus on yourself you can't be bothered with this you can't be bothered with this anymore scorpio you deserve better than this okay now we're going to draw five more cards scorpio mm -mm -mm -mm. what a stressful situation mm -mm. okay So our next card says, the Empress. <clears throat> okay, so now that you've walked away from the situation, you feel very calm, very content, very at peace with yourself. You know, you're, you're getting your life together. You know, you're just doing you, Scorpio. You're not letting anyone else distract you, okay? You're finally letting the good people come into your life. You're, not, you're, you're finally kicking out the negative people and keeping the good people, right? That is what you need right now, Scorpio. You don't need no negative people in your life. The queen of wands okay right so you have now that you've gotten rid of the negative negative people you all you have in front of you are the good true people that always had your back from the get-go okay so they make you feel good emotionally okay they make you feel good like it makes you really appreciate like wow okay so these people right here you know it's like a handful of people but they still have my back and stuff like that or maybe it could just be like this one or two people that i always had your back okay or it could just be more than one you know it could be like a whole group or whatever Okay, but the most important thing is that you separated the good from the bad and you're and you're really taking like more appreciation to the good because they are actual they're actually real people who really care about you. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. 
right? So people are saying, you know, yeah, this situation was hard to deal with, but just know you're not alone, okay? That is the good people in your life. That's what they're saying, okay? They want to make sure that you're okay. You know, they want to make sure that you're not doing any self-harm or you're not doing any self-destructive things like smoking or excessive drinking, right? All right, they want to just make sure you're okay and that you're doing fine. You know, that's all they want for you. The fool in the reverse, okay? So now, as far as... Um, making friends and even finding romance you move with caution now Scorpio because you're not trying to put yourself in any difficult situation again okay you're gonna have like not so easy situations but you don't want to put yourself in anything that serious again okay because that definitely took a mental like that took a mental and emotional toll on you the page of cups in reverse okay all right, so that person that did hurt you, while it did take a while, they finally fessed up and gave you an apology, okay? They were holding back the apology, right? They felt like they were too good to apologize at the time, right? So they finally they finally just manned up or womaned up, you know, and just said, hey, I'm sorry I did this to you, da 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 hope you can forgive me, you know, and all that. Okay, now we're going to draw our last five cards. Okay, and draw our last five cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next card says the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, All right. So you feel like this person does not mean their apology, okay? They apologized, but you don't feel like they mean it, okay? You feel like it's kind of half-assed. You feel like you feel like they're only doing it because it's the right thing to do, but there's one th there's a there's a fine line between apologizing and actually meaning like actually like you're seriously you're sincerely sorry and are apologizing sincerely okay that is the difference that is the fine line here okay anyone can apologize like oh i'm sorry but they could not mean it okay they cannot mean it all right so you don't so you feel like it's a half-assed apology death in the reverse okay so right now you're still at a standstill with this person right you still at a standstill because yes they apologize but it's not it's not like it's not like it's anything meaningful Okay, it doesn't. It still is an empty apology. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. It has no value. You know, so you don't. You you you're just like you know what? I don't accept it because it's not meaningful. It's not sincere. Okay, but this person is just like you know what? I apologize. So that I think that should be enough. Okay, but anyone can apologize, right? But it takes a true person who's sorry to actually say it sincerely. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. You, this person obviously needs help. They obviously need help because they have this cold attitude towards people. Don't care how other people feel. You know, they just do not care about what happens to other people, how they, how the situation takes a toll on them, how what they, how words hurt, and all that stuff like that. They need help. They need to seek help. But you don't care, right? Right, Scorpio. You're just focusing on your hard work, right? And you know, and you know, in the long run, it will pay off. Okay, you're just doing what you want to do, doing what you need to do, making sure you're okay, right? You're done with catering and trying to making other people feel okay, okay? Or trying to please other people. It's time for you, Scorpio, to look inside yourself and know how you feel. Okay? Next card says, the Six of Wands. Okay? I'm saying, so you're on your way to success, Scorpio. You're on your own path to success. It might take... Um, not long, it may not take too long, it may take a little moderate time, or it might take a long time, but either way, you're on the right path to success, okay? You just got to trust yourself and trust in your abilities to do right, okay? And the last card says justice, okay? So I'm seeing that this person who gave you the empty apology is getting their just desserts, all right? They're getting some serious karmic energy, okay? Maybe they will ha have been struck with a health issue or they're in financial turmoil, right? Or they're not, or they're lose, or they're um, losing themselves mentally and emotionally, right? Uh, because just the justice card doesn't just mean you know like court judgment and stuff like that. It can also mean that this person is getting karma struck back, like negative karma struck back at them, okay? For all the times they would do foolishness, okay? So that's what just the justice card could also mean. You understand?
okay? So it just doesn't mean like court problems, right? So this person is finally getting their their um their karma, okay? Because they're over here acting wild, don't know how to act and being disrespectful and, you know, just being empty and heartless inside. So yeah, they're getting their karma, okay? So while you're living up your life, this person is struggling and just getting what they deserve, honestly, okay? So Scorpio, I hope this did resonate with you in any kind of way. I hope this helped with any situation that you're going through or have gone through. I hope I have spread any kind of enlightenment on the situation, right? But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Again, it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio in the world, okay? All right? But if you do want a personal reading, remember my Instagram and Cash App are both in the description box, right? And yeah. So, again, before I go, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from when I upload. This has been the Universe Terry. Namaste.